Okay, Bobcats, it's time to practice finding tax tip and discounts. These practice problems are in your notes booklet, so make sure that you do your work in your notes booklet. And let's see how you do. A new pair of noise reduction headphones sell for $140. If the tax rate is 5%, how much will a customer pay in tax? Okay, so we're not actually looking for the total cost. We're just looking for the tax amount. So there's no need for us to add or subtract on this problem. But let's go ahead and do our part, whole, and percent. What is our whole amount? Well, it's the cost of the headphones, which sell for $140. And the percent is the tax rate of 5%. So our percent is 5. We cannot add dollars and percent, so we have to find out how many dollars the 5% equals. So this is our part. Remember the part and the percent, they go together. So let's set up our proportion. Part to whole equals percent out of 100. So I want you to go ahead and pause the video, solve this, and when you're done, come back and check your answer. Did you get $7 that the customer would pay $7 in tax? If you did, great job. If you put your answer as $147, then you found the total cost of the headphones plus the tax. And the question just wanted the tax. So you were almost there. If you did not get the $7 for tax, then go ahead and pause the video and take a look at how I solved this proportion and see where you found where you made your mistake. If you still have questions, then come and let your teacher know. Okay, problem number two, discounts. The new pair of $250 skis Diego has been eyeing are finally on sale for 40% off. How much money will Diego save by buying the skis on sale? Again, it's not asking for the, sale, the new sale price, it's just saying how much will he save? how much will he save? So we're not adding or subtracting on this particular problem. Let's go ahead and do our part, whole, and percent amounts. We know the whole is $250. This is the total cost of the skis. We know it's on sale, it's a discount, 40% off. So our percent is 40. We can't combine dollars and percent, so we need to find out 40% is how many dollars. So that's the part, the N. Set up your proportion. N over 250 part to whole equals percent, which is 40 out of 100. Okay, again, pause the video, solve this problem. When you have your answer, come back and check to see if you are correct. Did you find that the discount amount was $100? If you did, great job. If not, pause the video, take a look at the work shown to see if you can find your mistake. If you can't find your mistake, ask your teacher. Okay, our last example. The regular price of a Statue of Liberty souvenir was $32. During a sale, the price was reduced by 25%. What is the new reduced price of the souvenir? Okay, reduced by 25%. This means it's on sale, it's a discount. And we do wanna know what is the new price. So are we gonna add or subtract? We are going to subtract. So let's go ahead and figure out our part, whole and percent amounts. Okay, we know that the discount amount is 25%. This is our percent. We know that the cost of the souvenir, the original cost is $32, so this is the whole. We want to find the part. How many dollars is this discount? 20% is how many dollars? So set up your proportion. Part to whole 
equals percent out of 100. Again, pause the video, solve the problem, come back and check your answer. Did you get that the new sale price is $24? If you did, awesome job. $8 is the discount amount. And then you have to subtract it because you're looking for the new price. So you have to subtract that from the original price of $32. And that's how you got the $24. If you did not get the $8, then pause the video, find your mistake. If you're still unsure what's going on or what kind of mistake you made, talk to your teacher. Good job, Bobcats.